<laughs> Look who fell for the clickbait thumbnail again. Gullible for real. Okay, okay, y'all asked for it. Another hashtag Coolin fix my art. A little different this time though. Now, which one of these ugly artworks will I fix today? Okay, what about this one? This wasn't supposed to be suggestive, but here we are. Suggestive? It doesn't look suggestive at all. He just looks like he has asthma and he's panting from all those chest exercises. I'm gonna cover him in vanilla ice cream and slowly lick it off lick by lick. I'm gonna need you to seek help. What about this one? I drew my boyfriend in the Sam Does Arts inspired aesthetic. <gasps> what? Sam does farts. Immediate negative 10 out of 10 from me. Ew, disgusting. But honestly though, it doesn't even look like a Sam Does Arts artwork. It's too depressing to be one. And what the heck is that? You need to yassify the cat too, bro. Tried something new. Oh, is that so? Is it your first time drawing jewelry? Because it looks like it. Here's a portrait of Markiplier. Oh, interesting. Bro, why does his hair look like a ball sack? Another Regulus drawing. Uh, no idea who that is, but he looks more like Michael Jackson. The scenery is not the best, but I tried. The scenery? Bro, why are you blaming the scenery for your lack of skill? Juicy lips? Hell yeah. Ooh, is this supposed to be fan art of me? Well, you didn't nail it because the eyes are too big. I have small Asian eyes, bro. What the? What the heck is that necklace? Chat, are you seeing this right now? Shregzy. Ah, okay. I mean, if you're gonna put a watermark, you shouldn't have used that ugly as heck font, bro. Anyway, I can see that your style is a little bit inspired by me, as it should. It's pretty nice. Very juicy and succulent lips. But like, the head is a little bit too big, like a Funko Pop. And the hair looks like pasta. Mamma mia. Okay, so this actually has a lot of potential. So I'm gonna choose this one then. Let's just copy paste it real quick onto Clip Studio Paint. That's a program I use. Link in the description, by the way. So what is the first thing you want to do first thing is to flip it it's like that one tiktok filter where you check whether you're symmetrical or not let's just check if she's symmetrical okay and right off the bat you can see this shoulder is longer than the other one so let's liquefy real quick now this is also optional but we can also give her a boob job all right another one is this neck bro why is it shaped like a tree it's like there's a line that's pushing it on both sides what's up with that so let's just make her neck bigger all right now she doesn't look malnourished. Another thing is the Funko Pop head. You don't want to make the head too big because at that point your character would look like a child or an anime character. We don't like anime in this channel. We like manhwa. Ooh la la. Now you can already see the difference. She looks like an adult now. I mean if she's actually supposed to be a child, that's not my problem anymore. Okay, one last thing. The hair. Usually beginners draw Jimmy Neutron heads, but you, you have the opposite problem. You drew it a little bit too low. So again, liquefy. I freaking love liquefy. I am cheating on airbrush with liquefy. Anyway, we'll stop here. The art is already good enough as it is. But me, however, I want to challenge myself to make this into a completely different artwork. And we're going to start with the hair. Um, okay, I may have screwed up with the hair. Bro, why does it look like salted caramel ice cream? I ruined the hair for real. Okay, okay, let's just try a different method. So yeah, fast forward. I kind of covered up the salted caramel hair. We need to start fresh, okay? First thing we want to do is to draw the shapes of the hair. So I'm just drawing some curls here and there. Now, this is just personal preference, okay? But I like making the hair wavy and like voluminous, which means lots of curves like this. I did it because, well, it's the only thing she has going for herself. Look at her, she's so plain. Not even the juicy lips can save her. Now let's just make the hair one big solid color. Okay, the art looks boring out because you can't tell the difference between the skin and the hair. So let's just put shadows to make her hair stand out more. And then let's just put some stray hair strands to distract people from my very poor rendering. And then the juicy highlights, of course. Now I'm gonna make her slightly less anemic. I know I used the color with it really desaturated vampire colors, but I'm a changed woman now. Anyway, let's make some more shadows to, again, make her face stand out more. Let's also make her face smaller using the liquify tool, because I said so. That way, her hair is more mommy and voluminous and bigger compared to her face. It's like those 90s bombshells, you know? Okay, I just realized I'm too focused on the hair that I neglected her face. What the heck is that? So let's just turn off the hair real quick. Oh my gosh, wig snatched. Why is her right eye 
like dislocated. As always, copy paste the other eye. Hashtag work smart, not hard. Okay, watch what I'm about to do. I'm gonna give her scoliosis. So we just make this shoulder higher than the other. So since they didn't add a hand, there's nothing to make the pose more dynamic. So we can at least make the shoulders not equal to create a more dynamic-ish pose. Because bro, if she's just standing there, that's boring F, right? Anyway, let's just draw the top back on. We don't want to get demonetized. Okay, you know what will spice this up even more? A red background. Bro, if y'all have seen my recent art, it's all just red backgrounds. Red is starting to be my favorite color for real because it looks so evil, just like me. Anyway, I'm just erasing the white background. Okay, I'm about to make this artwork even messier. Just gonna add a little Illuminati triangle and then we'll add light and also about here and then on the shoulders. Okay, okay. It may be messy, but I hope you guys are seeing the vision. Do you see the vision? No? Well, you're going to. First, let's fix this atrocity right here. I basically just made a new layer on top of everything and I'll be using it to blend everything together. She got them plump lip filler lips. Yeah, and also the shoulders too. Listen, the most important thing here is the airbrush. Okay, okay, it's too freaking monochrome. Well, nothing a little blue can't fix. We're just gonna add it around the neck. I freaking love blue. It's a very nice contrast against period blood red. So let's just do the hair strands. Bro, I have no idea how to do blonde hair. See, this is why I only do black hair. It looks edgier and cooler, not like the color of piss. Now, listen here. All you gotta remember when rendering hair is to shade them like ribbons and then add these random hair strands. Trust me, it'll look 100% better. Okay, final touches. Let's just add some lines on her top. Better than no details at all, am I right? And then let's add her earrings. Um, okay. Well, this looks more like snot than earrings. But since I can't really do jewelry, this will have to do. So yes, we are finished. It definitely turned into a completely different artwork. Because before, she was giving rich girl with daddy issues. But now, she's giving rich girl with snot on both sides of her face. Well, anyway. Okay, here's some uh, details, zooming in, whatever. Okay, well, here is the speed paint real quick. Now, you can really freaking tell that I struggled with the hair. Like, bro, that freaking salted caramel ice cream hair. So, I started with a different approach and drew the hair strands first. And yeah, obviously, you need to put the hair in a different layer so you can turn it off at will. Now, the lighting was the fun part because after adding the background, it gets to be an artwork of its own. You just simply add lighting and a red background. Heck yeah. And also, you can't go wrong with monochrome so yeah i hope you like this video watch this next and i'll see you there stay cool